The Naira exchange rate against the United States dollar has sustained its rally as it appreciated to a seven-month high to close at 1,000 Naira to a dollar on the parallel market. Welcome to Majestic TV News Update, where we bring you the latest developments and insights on pressing issues. Today, our spotlight shines on the Nigerian economy as we delve into the remarkable resurgence of the Naira amidst a backdrop of plunging dollar reserves. As the Nigerian economy faces challenges, there remains a glimmer of hope for progress and improvement. Despite burning through its foreign exchange reserves, at an unprecedented rate. There's optimism that measures are in place to navigate the current situation and steer towards a brighter future. In recent months, concerns have risen as Nigeria's liquid reserves declined significantly, signaling a pressing need for strategic management. The decline, the steepest in years, has sparked conversations about the central bank's efforts to stabilize the Naira amidst volatile currency fluctuations. Yet, amidst these challenges, there are signs of resilience. The Naira, once feared to plummet further, has shown signs of strength. This upward trend is a testament to the concerted efforts to restore stability and confidence in the market. Efforts by the Central Bank of Nigeria to introduce liquidity-improving measures and encourage market-driven exchange rates have begun to yield results. There's a concerted push to clear the backlog of pent-up dollar demand, aiming to create a conducive environment for both local and foreign investors. While concerns loom, Nigeria still possesses a substantial cushion of foreign exchange reserves, fueled by factors such as the rally in oral prices and inflows from multilateral loans. This resilience provides a foundation for weathering the storm and navigating towards economic recovery. Despite the challenges, there's optimism that Nigeria's economy will see a resurgence, with inflows into capital markets and potential avenues for further investments, coupled with the benefits of higher oil prices and the likely return of remittances through official channels. There's hope that the tide will turn in favor of progress and prosperity. While the recent developments are promising, it's important to recognize that we're not out of the woods yet. Reflecting on the time when President Tinubu assumed office from Buhari, the Naira was struggling at an exchange rate of 700 Naira to $1. It was the consequence of certain policy decisions that weren't thoroughly considered, leading to the depreciation of the Naira. President Tinubu faces a formidable task ahead, particularly in addressing the exchange rate and the severe economic challenges that Nigerians grapple with daily, exacerbated by record high inflation rates. The high cost of essential commodities and other goods further compounds the challenges faced by ordinary citizens on a daily basis. From basic necessities to essential services, the burden of inflated prices weighs heavily on the shoulders of the average Nigerian. As President Tinubu Legates the complexities of economic policy. Finding solutions to alleviate the financial strain on the populace must remain a top priority. Only through decisive action and thoughtful reforms can we begin to ease the burden and pave the way towards a more prosperous future for all. Thank you for tuning in to today's news update. Stay informed by subscribing to Majestic TV for regular updates on unfolding events. Remember, Knowledge is power. Until next time, stay tuned and stay informed. Because the markets are dire, we need Sanofi's scale down activities. We need to be able to now get viable, sustainable money. That's what I mean by getting the fundamentals right every time. But right. well, it's a good one. Okay, let's cut through the chase. And this is it. What we're dealing with, the newspapers are reporting that Naira has appreciated and that it is now one thousand naira to the dollar well many years back it used to be 150 naira to the dollar so if the uh, Tinubu administration 
If they think they have done something significant, well, perhaps it's not significant enough. Even at uh, 1,000 naira to the dollar, we're still at the deep end of it. And prices have not come down. Some economists have said, oh, it's called a lag effect. Okay, this uh, drop in the uh, this appreciation of the Naira, can they sustain it? The major challenge for the Tinubu administration will be to sustain it. That is what is important. If they don't sustain it, we will be celebrating uh, 1,000 Naira to the dollar in the parallel market, and then much later, we'll be back to square one. Sustaining it is important. I've made a point here that we have used the same strategy before in the past. That strategy failed somewhere down the line. Can they take a look at what it is that makes the monetary policy, you know, uh, problematic? That is the big assignment that uh, Yemi Kadoso and the president have. That's one about that, to, to just be very clear about some of these issues. The second issue has to be this uh, inflation report. Now, CPI is now 33.20%, up from 31.7% uh, in February, which means that inflation is worse. Now, if you look at the uh, inflation figures uh, released by uh, uh, the Bureau of National Statistics, they are telling us that uh, food inflation went down. Urban inflation rose. Rural inflation rose. But this uh, food inflation that they are talking about, and they are referencing, you know, uh, 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 bon vita, uh, uh, yam, uh, tuba, other tubas, you know, um, and all of that. Uh, please, I, I don't know. I go to the market. I, I make it a point of duty, you know, when I can, to go to, to the market myself. And it's not a joke. I go to, him, to the market. So which price has dropped? Food inflation. And that's why we ask the question about statistics. Where is MBS uh, getting their data from? And they are saying that uh, food inflation has uh, dropped. Which food inflation has dropped? In this uh, Lagos, where we have markets that people like us go to. I go there, I meet people. I, we, we buy uh, crayfish, we buy, uh, 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 you know, uh, okra, we buy uh, uh, goat head, and we buy things together. Nothing has dropped, at least in the markets that I, that I visit. So I don't know where they are getting their data from. But however, in a contradicting manner, the same National Bureau of Statistics tells us that uh, urban inflation has, has risen, uh, you know, rural inflation has risen. So cumulatively, headline inflation has risen. Now, one of the uh, uh, major challenges that the Tinubu administration has to address is to bring back, uh, bring down the cost of living. We are facing in Nigeria today a cost of living crisis. The last time, uh, the other time when President Tinubu uh, was uh, in Lagos and he, he went to worship in, uh, in uh, the central mosque, the people who lined the streets and they were telling him, Ebim Pabao, Ebim Pabao, we are hungry, we are hungry, in Yoruba language. And when he came back for this uh, Eden Futri language, he didn't go to the same location. He went to a uh, Dolphin Estate uh, playing ground where he knows that the people in Okoyi, gentrified populace, you know, will not have the, uh, they will not have the tendency to come, and, to come and beg for food. But he himself must realize that there's hunger in the land. That's what the statistics is saying. The ordinary man does not know anything about the uh, uh, dollar, uh, has uh, gone down, uh, it's now 1,000 naira to the dollar. No, the other man of Nigeria is not spending dollar. He's uh, interested in the naira, as I am. We are looking for the naira. So let them put the naira in our pockets so that we can survive. 